Hello and welcome back to the Rom to Victory campaign, the South African one. So we are in Seleno. Have to take uh, these areas. Uh, to be honest, I will try to gun for at least these three here and maybe the school. This one might be uh, an exit too far. Anyway, uh, we are en exiting this valley. The 1st Infantry Company will advance on this axis here, uh, hopefully take the residences and the abbey, and then we will move up the 2nd Infantry Company for the rest. And yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Uh, my 1st Infantry Platoon, a uh, very depleted one, which I sent out first to draw some fire, is getting ready to move to this line. There's heavy fire coming down on the Germans, although I wonder how much good it will do considering the very sturdy stone building they got going there. There was a the machine gun there. That's probably the end of the artillery barrage. Here comes the second platoon. Okay, the artillery strike is over, I think. And here comes the infantry. here so far, so we will, um, let you move up this angle here. Not a lot of fire going on right now, that's good. Good start. Okay. That tree line probably clear. So instead what we're going to do is advance next to it. I don't want to go through the trees. If there's Germans still in there, from when we shelled them, then let, let them be in there.
Okay, there's a machine gun opening up. I think on my transport, maybe. Yeah. I hope we will uh, spot these at some point. I think they're firing from inside there, which I already shelled, so apparently they survived that and just didn't fire for a while. Wish I had realized that before starting around that I could have already shelled them. But okay, let's see if my infantry can maybe do something. Okay, maybe not. Uh, that direction, please. Yeah, the uh, silence of the uh, South Africans, of course, is weird. But yeah, that's where that is. Oh shit, yeah. That needs to be shelled immediately, and the infantry needs to throw nades. That was a good hit. Well, they have a Thompson. So what I want to do is uh, shell this a bit and then rush them up while the 50 cal is still um, shooting at them. And these guys can also attack. Yep. Okay, let's get them out of them. I hope that kind of... Um okay, maybe not. Come on, for a nade, where you Oh, shoot the PR, do something. Okay, there goes the PR. Okay, but we drove them out with the rest. Okay. Now get the machine gun as well. firing, I told you to fire at these assholes. You see them according to the game? Okay, but they don't want to fire, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, then at least take cover, you know, like, do something clever. Or, you know, just stand there, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna lose that Thompson now and die. Through no fault of my own, but for stupid AI. Maybe the others will get a good angle on them. The fucking shoot! What are you doing? Either shoot or go go to cover. Don't just stand there like a fucking retard. Jesus Christ. Oh, but yeah, this game is a mastery class in programming. Luckily, the Vickers gun is targeting it from uh, the other side of the map. So, at least that will add some suppression here. Ok, 
Okay, quiet now. Maybe they retreated? Nope, they are, I didn't. But no, my infantry is so that's good. Maybe I can actually get them to throw nades at this range, we will see. These guys will give covering fire, hopefully throw a bunch of nades, but it might be a bit too far away. Just some random covering fire together with the Vickers. And then these others will hopefully attack. Here we go. They will rush over to these positions. No. Careful, I should back their machine pistol. Nice, he has to reload. Mow him down, come on. Nice, okay. Oh, there's more positions, great stuff. Oh, and a Panther Shack as well, so that's good to know. Okay, they're on the run. Oh, now you're a machine gun. Question is from where? One thing I also noticed is that actually taking the Abbey will be a giant pain in the ass with my shit infantry. Uh, mostly because, um, like, there aren't any um, windows or entrances in the basement except on the other side. Thinking about maybe blowing like a hole in there with tanks, but I don't have any engineers or breaching troops or stuff like that as far as I know. Okay. Is the machine gunner shooting from here? Is that what that means? Or. No, I think it's this building, huh? I hope they can get the Piat launcher. I think they are shooting actually from this building. Problem is really that for, um, what's it called, I, I'm not really well equipped here for city fighting. So I will have to be really careful. I don't have any kind of engineers as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong, I will have to double check, but I don't think so. Maybe the scouts have petrol charges, but I don't think they do. So I'm very limited in what I can do here. Now I can use the tanks to knock uh, like holes into walls, but that takes longer than you might think. It's not like in Battlefield 5 where it's like one hit and the whole side of the building collapses. Especially with um, very sturdy buildings like this. Gonna do some slight rest and reorganizing here while the Stuart peeks this corner, just to see what's going on. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. And if there's Germans in here, they're probably all in this lower floor, which I have to clear uh, in close combat, which will be a giant pain in the ass. The last platoon of this company is moving up. Scouting Stuart uh, also moving up. Oh, don't flip that shit. where the smoke is coming from, though there's two destroyed vehicles there. 
So far nobody is shooting at the steward. So next round we will peek around the corner. Although of course that will happen in the next episode as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you next time.